Give me before H. I told them coffee was a mistake. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh, what's your problem, Chris? I'm totally psyched. I can't wait to tear up that mountain. <laughs> Liar. You guys aren't getting cold feet, are you? What? Are you kidding me? Pass up the chance to race over 80 miles of the most rugged mountain terrain in the county? Me? I wish this race was today. <laughs> Liars. Just keep up, okay? Hey, what's that? I thought those things weren't allowed in national parks. They're not. <laughs> This should be interesting. Woo Two girls going trail riding? What's it to you? It's kind of dangerous up there, you know. Real easy to get lost. Yeah, how about we take you for a ride and show you the uh, lay of the land? You guys know that these ATVs are off limits in this area? You sure about that? I uh, didn't see any signs. You're looking at a pretty big find. What are you two, uh, park rangers? <laughs> no, Jim Joe, they're rangerettes. <laughs> oh, well, uh, sorry, girls, uh, we gotta go. You two stay on the trail now, cause, uh, get real scary up there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see those Cretans? Yeah, we'll report them when we hit camp. Park Rangers handle it. Come on, we got a race to ride. Okay, your team can set up camp anywhere you'd like. Race starts at 0600 sharp. How many teams are entered? 22 so far. Who's your team captain? Him. Him. I guess that's me. Right. I need the names and addresses and next of kin and where you want the bodies sent. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of traffic on that mountain tomorrow. Oh, not so as you'd notice. That's a big mountain with a lot of trails. Oh, so you've done this before? Yeah, my buddies and I ride it every weekend, you know, just for fun. You two should join us sometime. I'm Greg, by the way. I'm Corey. This is Chris. This is my partner, Steve. He knows this mountain like it was his own backyard. Fraternizing with the enemy, I see. Well, listen to these guys. They're only trying to put the psych on you. Really? I thought it was the make. <laughs> see on the hill. Who are they? Just some guys checking out the competition. All right, let's keep our focus here. I'll have to make new friends after the race. You guys start unloading. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Stan Palermo, Santa Monica PD. Jim Williams. Are you competing tomorrow, Lieutenant? Yeah, that's our team over there. Listen, we were back at the rest stop. We ran into a couple of idiots turn around in ATVs. White males, early 30s, long hair. One of them was a big guy with tattoos. The other guy was a scrawny redhead. Just thought you'd want to know. Appreciate it. I'll check him out. Good luck tomorrow, Lieutenant. Thanks a lot, we'll need it. So it was a very deserted street. And there was a full moon out. 
just like tonight. And Jim, he's getting nervous now. Okay, now it's been 10 minutes since he's been waiting outside of the car. And still, his girlfriend hasn't come back from the bushes yet. Victor, I, I swear I've heard this story before. No, no, no. There's no way you could have heard this story. This happened. This is true. So he comes out and he's looking. Debbie? Are you all right? Debbie? Are you there? Debbie? Debbie? Hey. You're missing the Kishiko story. <laughs> I've probably heard it before. Probably. So what you doing? I'm looking at the stars. When I flew night flights in the Navy, the sky looked just like this. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. Makes you wish you could always see it this well. Yeah, when we make a choice. The stars or bright lights, big city. So are you happy with your choice? What do you mean? You still want to go to Metro? I suppose someday. I mean, we all have to move on, right? Can't ride our bikes forever. <laughs> True. But until then. Until then. So he hears a noise. It's Debbie coming out of the bushes. But she's covered in blood. She's bleeding everywhere. She's got something in her hand. But he can't really tell what it is. She gets closer. He finally sees it. You know what it is? It's her heart, and it's still beating. And she opens her mouth, and with this cold, dead voice, she says, Put it back, Jimmy. Put it back. <laughs> this isn't funny, okay? I mean, this really happened. <laughs> when I heard it, it was her head. <laughs> no, wait, 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 I heard it was her brain. <laughs> <laughs> it was her foot. She came, she came out of the board carrying her own foot. Put it back. <laughs> you guys are no fun. <laughs> Put it back, Jimmy. Put it back. Okay, folks. Now listen up. First off, I want to congratulate you all for entering the Eco Relay. This is one of the most challenging endurance events in the world. Over 75% of you will not finish this race. Nothing like a good pep talk to start the day. Guy yeah, could have been a drill sergeant. Remember, Come on, guys. Trying to hear what the man has to say. Both members of each team must complete each leg and tag in at the halfway checkpoint before the next team can take off. Lose a man or leave that teammate behind and you are DQ'd. This is an eco race. That means no radios, no weapons, no electronic navigational aids. Use one and you are DQ'd. It's just you and your bikes against the mountain. Good luck. <laughs>